I'm blowing it. It's oh, not. Oh, hi friends! Blowing. Once again, welcome to Yummy Treats with Yes. I was testing my new swimming goggles because swimming is my fav favorite sport. Today we are going to make whole wheat chocolate brownie. This is whole wheat cho chocolate brownie because when we use maida, it becomes very unhealthy. And please make it. Make a note of the ingredients because it's very important. Friends, the ingredients are listed in the I say hi friends, welcome to Yummy Eats with Yes. Hi friends, welcome to Yummy Eats with Yes. I put a new chopper. Friends, the ingredients oh, are listed. One minute, one minute. This is my vessel. Friends, the ingredients are listed in the description box below. Hey, why are you coming in my way with your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> Friends, let, let's take a quick look at the ingredients. I'm lying in the little. Friends, let's take a quick look at the ingredients. This is 1 cup melted butter, 4 eggs, Two cups sugar. This is one and a half cup whole wheat flour. This is half cup cocoa powder, unsweetened. This is one teaspoon baking powder, and this is half teaspoon vanilla essence. Please preheat the oven to one eighty degrees Celsius. Now I am going to crack the eggs and beat them up. Sugar to the admixture. Oh, did you see that? Now I'm adding the butter. Oh, it's a very important point I forgot to mention. Friends, if you are using unsalted butter, Please use half, half a teaspoon of salt. But here I am not because I am using salted butter. Now let me beat it. It is done. I am adding all the dry ingredients to the sieve. Now I am adding flour. Baking powder and cocoa powder. Now I'm going to sieve it. You can even sieve the dry ingredients in it and in a different container and add it to this. But I'm doing a shortcut method. I'm done with the sieving. This will go to the dustbin. Oh my god, look at all the mess. But that's okay, baking is fun. Whoa, look at that, it's so wobbly. Now I'm going to beat it. Beat the wet and dry ingredients. But remember, don't overbeat it. You can also use a spatula in a cut and fold method. But I'm going to use an electronic beater. You know I love shortcuts. is ready. Friends, don't overbeat the batter. Otherwise, your brownie will become hard. So, I've kept the batter aside. Now, we have some butter. And now, I'm going to grease it in the baking dish. I've greased the baking dish. Now, I'm going to sprinkle some whole wheat flour. Now, I'm spreading the flour. So how well it's got spreaded? 
Now I'm pouring the batter in the baking dish. You can also bake it in a square baking dish like this. I'm going to bake this for 20 to 30 minutes. You can also insert the third toothpick and check. If it comes out clean, that means your brownie is cooked. If it doesn't, you can even cook it for a few more minutes. Oh my god! I kept it for cooling and my brother ate it. Did you eat it? <laughs> Don't speak lies. Next time, promise that you will not eat the cake, okay? okay? So friends, it's out of the oven. Now, I've kept, I had kept it for cooling. Now it's in room temperature. So let's serve it. Sorry friends, I ate the brownie. It was yummy. My Anna asked me not to touch it. Sorry. It's plating time. You know something? This is my favorite dessert. And here I have some chocolate sauce and I'm going to decorate it with this. Here I have have some powdered sugar and I'm and I'm going to sprinkle a top of this. You can serve this with vanilla ice cream and you can add walnuts to the batter. batter. Then it will become choco walnut brownie. It's nice. It's incredibly delicious. Friends, I hope you enjoyed my video. So send your likes and feedbacks. And see you soon with a brand new recipe. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, it's so powerful. Friends, if you have any recipe with you, please put it in the suggestion box. And I'll surely make that for you. This chocolate piece, this chocolate cake piece have fell down in my shirt. We have? Huh? Yeah. We have a stone. Thanks.